done today. I can even attend to the man in prison. I am aware he is in prison. I know what is ahead. Look at what I've been able to do. I have done bigger things than what he is going through. I guess that's what Jesus wanted to communicate. In other words, all our situations, God can attend to them. But he doesn't attend them according to our wishes. He attends to them according to his plans, to his grace. And that's why in our first reading, it is clear, God is saying, my thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are not your ways. So by Jesus at performing the miracles he did, he was telling John the Baptist through his disciples, I'm not unaware of your imprisonment. I'm not unaware of your suffering. I am aware. And I'm not just aware. I'm also able to deal with your imprisonment. If I, I can exercise demons, if the bride can see, if the sick can get well, I think those are bigger things than getting you out of prison. But John the Baptist never left prison. Jesus never intervened for him to be released from prison. Because his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. And therefore, the exhortation for us today is that no matter what pain may befall us, we must surrender to God. Because his plans are bigger than our plans. His thoughts are bigger than our thoughts. And therefore, we cannot limit him. God was not helpless when the fire took place. But because of his own ways, he allowed it to happen. Of course, sometimes the ways of God do not make sense to us. But we are human. Why should they make sense to us, yet we are not God? Much as we are created in his image and likeness, we are not gods. We are not even small gods. We are dust and ashes, smoke. Therefore, we cannot understand God. And that's why his ways do not make sense. Even in the, Bi in the Bible itself, there are several occasions when people are meant and wonder why God is not taking a certain direction in matters before them. There was a great prophet called Elijah. Remember the contest at Mount Carmel when he had humiliated the prophets of Baal and Asherah. But shortly after he was threatened by Je Queen Jezebel and he fled. He learned for his life. First Kings chapter 19 Verse 3 and 4 talk about the despair that Elijah felt. And not just despair, he felt let down by God. Because he had been working for you, full-time worker, I have contested with the prophets of Baal and Asherah. But now Queen Jezebel has taken a vow and said she would destroy me. And now here I am, a fugitive. He went away on a day's journey into the wilderness. He's a, a fugitive. He came to a bloom bush, sat down at a lit, and prayed that he might die. And he told God, I have had enough, Lord. That's a resignation. I have had enough, Lord. Take my life. I am no better than my ancestors. In other words, he is telling God, it doesn't make sense to work for you. My ancestors who were there, they suffered their own ways. I'm also now suffering like they are suffering. Take my life. But you know, God, through his age, beckons him 
to eat and drink. And thereafter, he goes back. He is forced to go back, to retrace his steps back to where he had led away from. And many good things happened thereafter. Many good things are going to happen to these families in spite of the losses before us. Glass will grow. Because at that moment when Elijah felt God was a disappointment, he was almost disowning God. God whispered to him, and I'm sure parents, God is whispering to you. Because at that moment when Elijah was in the cave, God did not shout at him. At times when we are in pain, God does not shout at us. He knows we can't hear a shout. He whispers to you. God is whispering to you, parents. Listen, Kinwe, in your moments of meditation, in your moments of loneliness, listen, Kinwe, God is speaking to you as he spoke to Elijah, speaking through a still, small voice. Maybe you are not hearing because it is very still. It is a whisper. You are in tears. You are mourning. You are counting losses. The whisper. God is speaking as he spoke to Elijah. And he told Elijah, go back to where you came from. More good things await you. Parents, after this loss, God is speaking through a whisper to you. And telling you, it's not over. It's not over. I have good plans for you. I have no hatred towards you. I didn't pick your children because of your sins. And I remember I told you on the 8th not to listen to anyone telling you these things have happened because of some things you didn't do right. Some wizards and wish doctors. They may be in big business now. Because this is a time when you are very vulnerable as parents. They might have relocated to Kieni. Area MP, help us to identify them. The witch doctors, the wizards who have come all over here to open business because they know that these parents are very vulnerable. And they will tell you why it happened. It is because you didn't pay dowry in full. It's because of, of a lady you were to marry and you, and you didn't marry. That's why your child has died. All manner of prescriptions will be offered. But all that is rubbish. Because people of God have suffered. People who are close to God have suffered. In fact, God himself has suffered. Because you remember when Apostle, uh, Paul, before he became an apostle, was headed to Damascus. When God confronted him, he told him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Meaning, although he was persecuting people, it was God who was feeling the pain. So God has also suffered. Because the Lord told him, why do you persecute me? Remember, Christ on the cross, the gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 15, verse 34. Christ is on the cross and he is saying, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabakithani. When you hear someone speak their mother tongue, they are in trouble. I can speak English now. But the moment I get into trouble, I will speak the first language I was taught by my mother or my parents. So Jesus is speaking in his mother tongue. That is how it is recorded. Eloi, Eloi, lama sabakithani. Translated, my father, my father, why have you forsaken me? So God has also suffered. So suffering is not reserved for sinners. Of course they have their share, which is agonizing, which is painful. Because they have nobody to cry to when they sin. When a sinner suffers, they have no records. They have nobody to turn to. At least Jesus could turn to the Father. 
Hello, 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 my father, my father, why have you forsaken me? And because God was with him, eventually he says, to you I have committed my spirit. So he was not alone. So the fact that God has also suffered should comfort our parents here that their loss is felt by God. Let us not try to understand why it happened. It may take a long time. There are many things that have happened that we have never known the cause. We may never know the cause or not know the cause. It doesn't matter now. What matters is that there is a God who will walk with you. It doesn't matter what didn't go right. Of course, if there is crime committed, government should get to the root of it. But we are also aware there are many stones that government has never turned. Previous governments are still to turn stones. Although revelations are made how some people died in this country, Pio Gamapinto, Tom Boyer, J.M. Kariuki, Robert Ouko, we have never been fully officially informed how it happened. Of course, some in investigations have been done privately, and we almost know who did it. But you dare not say it, you might be sued. You know, there was a bookshop in Nairobi one time, was it called Book Point, that sold a book that pointed a finger at someone that he had been involved in some death. The book talked about someone who is dead today, that he had involved in the death of some prominent people, and that person took the publisher, the author, and the bookshop to court. And they were sued, and they were fined. And that book, good bookshop followed it up. It had no more money after paying those fines. So we never say who did it, much as private investigators say it, because you may be in trouble. I haven't mentioned anybody. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Government get to the root of it. The reports may take long. But the parents here, your concern may not necessarily be who did it. Although there will be better closure if they knew what happened. But the Lord who whispers to his people is telling you, I will walk with you. I will not desert you. Grass will grow. I'm your friend. I am Emmanuel, meaning God with us. When I can you are, God is with you, proprietor of the school. May he comfort you, may he console you and your family. All parents, mothers and fathers, those who had only one child, the only one they had. Some had children who had been born after a long wait by the mothers and the fathers. They are here in the caskets. Shattered dreams. Great loss. But God is whispering, listen, Kinre, he is whispering to you that you will not go down. And therefore, after crying, Eloi, Eloi, Lama Sabakithani, you will be able to say unto you, I commit my spirit. I wait upon you. Why it happened? His ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. We are limited. We may not know. We may talk about what should have been done and uh, many other things. But as people of God, we are glad to surrender these parents to the Lord and the whole matter to the Lord. We are glad to surrender it because he has never disappointed even in spite of that pain. After the crucifixion of Jesus, the family was consoled because you remember Jesus saying, mother, these are your children, son, that is your mother, life continues even when I die, even when I descend into hell. But later on again, he rose from the dead. It has been painful to people of God. As I conclude, remember there was also Job. He who suffered not because he was a sinner. He suffered great loss. 
he lost all his children, sons and daughters. He lost all his property. Livestock was precious those days. He lost all of it. Then he lost his health. Knowing how precious health is. We say health is wealth. He lost it. And then he lost friends. Because those men who came to sit with him, initially they were quiet, but when they started speaking, they condemned him. That such suffering will never come to Elijah's man. The kind of suffering you have gone through, parents, never comes to Elijah's man. Those were the words of the friends. And Job, Job was wondering, what is, this of, what is this offense that I have committed bigger than those committed by others? But the friends were telling him, look how stubborn you are. Even when we have identified your problem, you are still saying, you are putting a lot of words in your mouth. This is nothing but a consequence of sin. So he lost his friends. Because they were not agreeing. Do you know he also lost his wife? Because she at one point pray, wished to be a widow. She told the husband, cast God and, and, and die. She was praying for widowhood. She was inviting widowhood upon herself. So he almost lost his wife as well. Well, of course, they lived together thereafter, happily ever after. But now Job walks that through that pain. But eventually, even before God intervened, if you read that book, chapter 42, Nisome hapa kwa Kiswahiri, hata kabla mungu hajasuruhisha mambo ya ayubu, ayubu mwenyewe alimusikiza mungu akiongea, akasikia ale mungu ameweza kusama kufanya, because katika kitabu hisho kuna wakati mungu anaerezea uwezo wake. Haja guza mambo ya ayubu, lakini anabia ayubu, unajua yule mnyama mkubwa sana? Yule anaishi kule. Unajua wale wanaishi majini. Unaona yale mawivi ya bahari. I'm in control of all those things. In other words, he is telling Job, what you have gone through is nothing compared to my ability. The same way John, uh, Jesus was showing John the Baptist, what you have gone through is nothing compared to what I am able to. Nae mungu waka muereze ayubu yale abayo, anaweza kufanya. Ayubu alipoereze wa akakubujwa uwezo wa mungu, he felt very ashamed. In, katika mstari wa tano wa sura ya robaina bili ya kitabu hisho ayubu anasema masikio yangu yalikuwa ya mesikia habari zako lakini sasa kutoka na vile umeerezea macho yangu ya mekuona kwa hivyo na jitharau mwenyewe na kutubu katika mavubi na majivu this man has not been sorted yet. He is still without children. He is still without livestock. He is still without friends. I don't know at what point the wife came back. But in that situation when he said to God, akasema bereni nilikuwa nimekusikia, sasa nimekuona. Na kwa hivyo na jitharau mwenyewe na kutubu katika mavubi Na majivu. That is the lowest a Jew could feel sorry. So parents, once again, friends, relatives, God can do more in your lives and he will do more. He will attend it to you. God has suffered. He knows what suffering is. God has undergone pain. He knows what pain is. May he help you. To get better. Don't get stuck. Mourn. It's human. But don't get stuck there. Get to the next phase that God is ushering you into. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for reminding us of your abilities upon us. Your thoughts are not our thoughts. Your ways are not our ways. You are still all powerful, omnipotent. 
we release ourselves to you. And I, like Job, we want to repent where we have spoken and kind words to you. Where we have cried and asked you what you are doing. Where were you on that day? Kwa mavubi na majivu tunatubu. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Uh, the Light Reverend for ministering to us. My take home are two things. One, don't ask God any question. Close your ears, allow this time. You may hear many things. That God is not through with us. Many more good things are on the way. At this point, we want to, to pray for the family. And before we do that, I want to, as we do that, I want to request the Vicar General who is here to come and lead us in that. And just to remind the, 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 the clergy who accompanied the family together with all of us, when we will be praying for the family, we shall all start allow the caskets, and then we do what we know best to intercede. Welcome, uh, Vicar General Leverett Charles. Around me first to read the condolences message to the family. on behalf of His Grace Archbishop Anthony Moheria. We wish to send our sincere condolences on this day when we bid farewell to the 21 young boys who tragically lost their lives in the Hillside Academy fire. The Catholic Archdiocese of Nyeri and indeed the entire Catholic Church in Kenya expresses our deepest condolences and sincere sympathies to the families of the deceased, while also praying for the speedy recovery of the injured. We share the grief of the family members of these angels who are yet to reconcile themselves to the loss of their dear ones. We also imagine the deep pain of the injured and their families who are struggling to recover from the physical and mental torment. There is no message that can fully comfort you all, our dear brothers and sisters, but I wish to assure you of the many prayers offered and continue to be offered for your intentions in this time by our priests and Christians. We feel the loss with the families of the victims of the hillside fire tragedy, whose hearts are heartbreaking and beyond words. Our thoughts and prayers are with you all, those who have lost their dear ones, as we pray for the recovery of the injured. We also appreciate all who responded to the rescue of the children and those who supported the parents and families of the pupils in Hillside Academy during this difficult time, including our own Good Shepherd Center. So many have come out to start with the families in this long journey of identification and acceptance. I invite all of us who have been grieved by this tragedy to have recourse to God's mercy as we can never understand or find satisfactory reason for it. We St. Paul, we are consoled as we pray for these young souls. 
If we live, we live for the Lord. If we die, we die for the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. For this very reason, Christ died and returned to life so that he might be the Lord of both the dead and the living. A quote from Romans chapter 14, verse 8 to 9. May the Lord console and strengthen us all. May the souls of those young ones, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. We can now stand and have prayer over the family. to Shuguke from Nahio Asanti just this side not that one and the parent would wish to come we are consulting with the moderator here if the parent wish to come he can come he can be guided Father Haman and uh, yes our ashes If your pastor is there, please. It's important to you. Thank you. Thank you. Jesu kwetu ni rafiki. before you today in our grief seeking your comfort and peace we thank you for the life of your children who have passed on thank you for the gift they were to their family friends and all who knew them thank you for the memories we cherish and all the legacy they leave behind God our Father, we ask for your mercy and grace for the departed. As they pass from this life into eternity, bring them into your loving arms and grant them peace.
peace and rest. We also pray for those who are left behind that they would find comfort and hope in your presence and the promise of eternal life. We stand united in grief and amidst sorrow, surround the families of the departed with your loving presence. In this difficult hour, we come before you seeking for your companion. Sustain them in their anguish and into the darkness of the grief. Lord, bring the light of your love. Draw near to them and to all of us and bring blessing out of grief and help us in our tears and pain to know you standing alongside us and to experience your love and healing. And we ask all this through Christ our Lord. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let the perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. This is not the last page. offerings and the offerings that we want to raise today are very special in the sense that we want to direct all these offerings to the kitty that is working very hard to ensure that there is some comfort for these families so as you give maybe you didn't have an opportunity also to do what you would have wished to do. We have made enough arrangements. Uh, the people who are doing that, uh, the, the clergy, together with, uh, 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 th th there is a team that is going to come there. They, uh, they have labels. And I know you will do what you need to do. I want to request Bishop Gachengo to commit our offerings into the hearts of God 
And as we do that, we will have the choir, we will have the Catholic choir, uh, the PCA choir, Mufanye Nusunusu Wibo, because you are part of this service. You had presented in the morning, but allow us to give you another opportunity. Thank you. We will be seated down, and then the choir will stand together, the both choirs, Musaidiana Kuiba, Bishop JM. Thank you, thank you. As we raise an offering this morning, Proverbs 11, verse number 24, the Bible says, Give freely and become more wealthy. Be stingy and lose everything. As we give this morning, let's give in the light of that scripture. We're going to have the clergy are going to come to us, and we also have an, an MPESA number that we are going to use, and it's going to be projected 0721 384 571. And the name that shall appear is Bildad Maigua. So, all the M-Pesas, for those of us who want to use M-Pesa, kindly feel free to use that number. But for us that are going to use the cash, our kraji uh, having some bags, they are going to come our way. Let us pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you and we magnify your holy name. Thank you that you're the one that owns everything on this earth. And it is you, according to your word, that has given us power to create wealth. Part of this wealth that you have given unto us, we want to give it today so that it can support this noble task that is ahead of us. We want to pray that you are going to bless each and every one of us as we give. And whatever we are going to give, as it goes for the noble cause, it shall bring glory and honor unto your holy name. We pray all this, believing and trusting, in the name of God the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. All of us say amen. amen. So our, our kraje, they are moving around, they are all over. We have a special basket here, kindly, it is only for the ones, the, the VIP. So the rest of us, we, the kraje, are going to come to us. God bless us as we give choirs, please. Let's go ahead and present the number.
Thank you very much.